we just shared a psalm that celebrated and recognized a time when God's people made God grumpy. Do you ever make your parents grumpy? I'm going to get to the rest of you in a minute. <laughs> do you ever make your parents grumpy? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Do you ever do things that in remembering your parents, because some of you, I think your parents are now with the Lord. Some of you. In remembering your parents, do you still do things that you know would make them grumpy? Yes. Nice and loud, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the same is true when it comes to God. When we read the Bible, we, we read all kinds of commandments and rules and laws that God gives us to help us to live well and happy lives. And do we always do what it says? Let's be honest. No. And we do things sometimes that make God grumpy. Now, the great thing about this psalm is it reminds us that even though we do things that makes God grumpy, even though we do those things, does God stay grumpy? No. 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 The psalm said, as far as, let me get my directions right, as far as the east is from the west. How far is that? That's the whole way around the world. That's what the psalmist is saying. That's how far God separates us from our sins, from those things that make God grumpy. Do you know how he did that? How did he do that? Next time we'll raise our hand with an answer. <laughs> do you know how he did that? Do you know how he did that? That's why we're here. Do you know how he did that? Do you know how he did that? Come on, let's help out the children today. How did he separate those sins so far, east from west? How did he do that? <laughs> Through Jesus Christ. And as we get closer to Easter, as we get closer to Resurrection Sunday, we need to keep that in mind. That at that point, not just in distance, but for all of time, God said, I'm going to keep these people who I love so far away from the sin that harms them, that puts a wall between us so far, I'll put my son right there and he will keep that sin from controlling their lives. So that when we sin, all we have to say, I'm sorry. And that forgiveness is already right there. God has blessed us. Let us rejoice in that blessing. God's not grumpy with you anymore. God loves you. Let us pray. And you can repeat after me nice and loud, okay? Lord, we are sorry for making you grumpy and doing those things you always tell us not to do. Help us to accept the forgiveness you give us and to share it with everybody especially the people that always make us grumpy even our moms and dads Lord bless us we pray especially as we go back to school to have joy and fun and praise you every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.